APV2000 is a small, high-pressure homogenizer dedicated for R&D laboratories. The tabletop homogenizer is easily installed on a table capable of supporting 105 kilograms. We will demonstrate how to check performance and operate the homogenizer, how to make simple R&D tests, and how to ensure proper cleaning. Water is required for lubrication of the plunger ceiling and use of tap water is often sufficient. For fluids homogenized at elevated temperatures, the lubricating water must have the same temperature as the fluid. Before a test, the flow rate and pressure setting with water must be checked. Switch on pressure gauges. Always switch on power without any pressure. Water is pumped from the feed tank through the valve housing with the plunger and the two pumping valves, proceeding to the homogenizing valves on first and then second stage, and finally leaving the discharge tube. Please note that the APV2000 is a single plunger machine which delivers product only in the discharge stroke. Flow fluctuation like you see it in the video is therefore perfectly natural. When flow rate is stable, pressure may be applied. Check that flow rate is still stable. Measure the flow rate with a first stage pressure setting of 1000 bar. It must be 11 liters per hour. This corresponds to approximately 50 milliliters in 17 seconds. Release pressures before switching off the homogenizer. The homogenizer is now ready for tests. First, we will test a low viscous fluid with two stage homogenization. Make sure the fluid is well stirred and reasonably homogeneous and stable. Avoid air in the valve housing by following this procedure. The water in the homogenizer is pumped out and when the feed tank is almost empty, small amounts of test fluid is gradually added two to three times. Finally, add all test fluid. Draw a sample at zero bar. First apply pressure on second stage and then on first stage. Always wait for minimum four pumping strokes after each pressure setting before drawing a sample. Draw your samples. Above 1000 bar, only first stage should be pressurized. 2000 bar is the maximum. Rapid cleaning reduces the risk of deposits in the valve housing. The pumping valves are small and very sensitive to deposits of sticky particles and fibers. Flush immediately with cleaning agent and finally flush with hot tap water. If deposits from a product can't be removed by flushing, disassembling of the liquid end and manual cleaning is required. This is an easy task due to the simple construction of the APV2000. Refer to the manual for details. The homogenizer breaks up particles and oil globules and a particle sizer is the most useful instrument for analyzing the efficiency and presenting the particle size distribution. A microscope is also useful for checking cell disruption of, for example, algae cells. Gravity feeding is easy with low viscous products, but highly viscous products require a higher feed pressure for proper feeding of the homogenizer. Examples are Greek yogurt and tomato ketchup. In our second test, we use the pressure feeder for a product with a high viscosity. Viscosities up to 100,000 centipoids can then easily be pumped and homogenized. A piston is placed on the surface of the product. Apply 2 to 7 bar feed pressure. Make pressure settings and draw samples. Safety awareness is important when operating the pressurized feed tank. Never disconnect the lid or the pressure feeder when pressurized.
to stop the test, follow this procedure. Release the homogenizer pressure. Then release the compressed air pressure. Finally, stop the homogenizer and remove the lid from the pressure feeder. We wish you good luck with your APV2000 for development of new formulations and quality control of ingredients. Please contact us or refer to the manual for further information.